Uh, yesterday, when I went home, I was not really feeling well. Pero most of my companions said na they, they, they don't know what I feel it already when I arrive. And then, kihilot ko nila, pagkihilot noon, like the book now, and then the, ito ilag yablas, muna lumili. <laughs> because, and then I have to, to uh, habol. Pagkabunta ko, hihingit na magko. And then, hihingon pa rin ang abil, hindi na lang ito ipadayon. At siya hindi na lang gusto mag-pastor sa ako, no? Ayun, ayun po niya. Sa mali mo mga kuyo, kapag di manginang po, anak siya magpadayon din siguro. So, hihingan siya ni Brother Dennis nga. Kapila naman ako na siya makita na magkiang-kiang mangani na magkua, mag, maglikor. Pero pagkwali, mawala. So, uh, I experienced a lot of things in the ministry. You're suffering something when you're sitting down there. And then when I'm on the pulpit, everything just changed, you know? And then when I go back again, walik. <laughs> now, I just believe that the Holy Spirit will be here with us today. And I know He is here. So, this morning, yesterday we talked about the, uh, the fivefold ministry. And I know that even I myself, talking from here, I've learned a lot of things. The good things with Revelation is that God will always surprise us with the things pisan nagtuon pa ka when God will give you a fresh revelation that He will surely give us right away. And this morning, I believe that uh, we have done already the leadership or the uh, fivefold ministry. And I know uh, this morning we're going to study about the approach of doing something. Nilali ka lang itawag pa nga kung saan na ito pag ministerio. Approach how to minister in, in, in every individual. So there are many kinds of the kind of mga klase. Kung atong tanawon, most of the teachers that I've seen today, that they are really good in words, they are really good in, in a summary and outlining and everything. But I think they missed the point about the Great Commission and the Healing Ministry. Most of the time, when there are sicknesses, no? we know that the gifts, the spiritual gifts, is the open door for us to reach one person or a people. Mauna'y naliptan kaayo. Sa unang panahon, during the times of my ancestor, mga tigulang, ang umaginikanan, they will only look at the person and see what's the need. Maglingkod lang sila, makadisar na dahil sila that there's something wrong in this person. And through that, one of the greatest gifts that my father has is to cast out demons, working on miracles. And then when he started the ministry, a lot of people in the barrios and everywhere, na iyang makita in ana ang mga pamahagi. So the gospel is being spread. Today, ako nakita most of the time today, they are doing a lot of research according to words, according to what they study, according to what they are just hearing. But I see the actual things, the Great Commission and the healing. Great Commission and healing. So this, this uh, spiritual gifts, mauni ang magadala ka na ito sa pagpadumag doon sa tao. No? So there are things na, uh, and I'm blessed because uh, Pastor Gar and Pastor LB approached me yesterday, if we can touch those, some of the spiritual gifts. Because it's really important, right? So na atay unang tiyad ako o lima kabuhong. Lima kabuhong kari magtindog para itong santa na itong pag-ship sa itong klase ka rin. Nakapunta ko. Siguro pa. Siguro pa. Okay. Isa pa na? Okay. Kung naatay pastor, prophets, evangelist, teacher, so isa, apostle. Apostle dito ka. Sino ka ba? Karon, even though you have a titles of this name, the thing is, how are you going to use the name 
that God has given you. Di ba? Ang inoo naghatag yun. Iyan ni handpick ang ito gift. Right? God give you the gift and you know where your gift belongs. That is why a lot of people right now in, na, 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 na ramutan o na nag-stop by ang ilang mga gasa, na, 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 na stop by ang ilang mga tawa, it's because they doesn't want to stop. Men, in this days, the Bible says the Great Commission. Meaning the Great Commission is the saving of the salvation. Who is Jesus Christ? And now you approach Jesus Christ to every person. For example, let me come here. Let me in. Okay. The gifts of the Spirit is very important tool to get through a person that needs Jesus. Are you with me? So there are spiritual gifts, nine-nine the spiritual gifts na atong pag-atulang karon na kabutalon. Because in the nine spiritual gifts, you will know what's strong in you even though you are a pastor, apostle, evangelist, teacher, and prophet. No? Na yung mga kwan, kung saan yun yung pag-persa, kung saan pag-persa. So we will be doing the Great Commission and the Nine Gifts of the Holy Spirit. Magaling ko na kita. Okay. So the Great Commission is, it is when God is preparing to leave the earth, no, sa unia, na paghatag kini sa mga tao na walang pagdihan na kaila kaniya. So kung ato na talong, ano, you have already encountered this word, Great Commission, and then, uh, then uh, through this Great Commission, na ihatag ang inoo na uh, uh, nine gifts, and it is categorized into three. The vocal gifts, the revelation gifts, and the gift of healing. Okay. The vocal gifts. Katong uh, pakikistorya. Uh, no, kalang ikapit ang inyong voice. And then revelation is simply hearing from God. Like the reveal. The word reveal. And then the gifts of healing. So, kini ang mga putang na atong wala pa tayo ka ng magamit ng postan. Wala po ka talo ang katong akong paper po ang Discernment of 
of spirits. Ang isang kabutang is ali is one of the practical way of the servants of spirits is that when you see a person, makakita kang tao, you can easily discern what kind of spirits that are in the person. Are you with me? And when you acknowledge the kind of spirits that are with them, then you recognize unsa ang imong ginadil. Right? And the discerning, discerning of spirits is not only the spirit of the enemy. Dili lang, katagalan sa tuwa, magsunod ng palimalay, and when we went into the house, he said, Demonyo, ano ito? Ang mga demonyo din? Kanang katagalan, no? Ayong demonyo. But discernment of spirits is not only discern the spirit of evil, it also discern the spirit of God. Spirit of angels. Spirits that is of God na ka naman itawag na ito, ka ng presence of God. Mga importante ka ay yung maibong mabalanak. When God will give you the great commission, you know how to hear from the Lord through discernment. Only karoon ang nakulang isang sa ating mga iglesia. Many people think in our churches that our church are perfect people. Sabi nila itong mga simbahan, perfecto ang mga tao. No, this is a place where a lot of people na ka ng klase-klase ang diversity, klase-klase ang problema, klase-klase ang kinaiya, and then we tend to recognize them. Amen? First is to discern things so that we can avoid deceptions. Right? We should, we, we should do these things. In Matthew 24, 24. In Matthew 24, 24, Jesus warned for the false prophets and false prophets will arise show great signs and wonders so as to deceive is possible even the elect. It is very important to discern. Na karoon na panahon na God kayo ang pag-ingon na ang nasa timun mo, makaayon po sila. Oh, maka-advise po sila. Makahimo po sila. Pero there are things that you really know, himo kinahanglan na may bakman, kay they present the false Christs. And false prophet will arise and will show great signs and wonders so that to mislead. In other words, even the world today is showing a lot of signs and wonders. Diba ka na mga mananampan? Makahimo sila o mga milagro, magpira po sila. Dagan ang imo. Mga magingo ng tao sa ay na kaya pag yung salino mo, kaya pag yung iya. So there are a lot of things na atong maginahalan na atong may baman to protect us from introducing the false or the true Christ. Kinahala natin discernment, anak. And then false prophets. And then they will also show signs and wonders to mislead, to mislead, impossible, even the enemy. So these are the things that why we need the discernments of spirit. Para kikinahala na ito na malisern ang spirito. So, one is the presence of God. The presence and the function of the Holy Spirit is to present the function of angels. In other words, when the presence of God is there, you can see the actions of the angel, actions of angels. In other words, nagkat kayo ang mga panahon na makita niyo when the presence of God one of the greatest example katugan ni uh, na yung share ako papa sa kuwa before ngayon eh, siya when they are building the church they don't have the money na ay niabot nga mga balas si Nito and then it's physically present tao tao but when sina na nila diingon nga pastor bayad na mani and then until now Walay nagsingin sa ina. Walay nagsingin. In other words, there are presence of God in the midst and it is used according to the presence of angels. Ang atong mga pagdataw sa angels, doon katulay 
the presence of God. In other words, you can feel a great presence of the Lord. One also example during the time in Taipun, into sa sa masala sa Ormo, they have really felt the presence of God in spite of the calamity. They have seen the power of God through angels. In other words, there are divine intervention. Not only with the enemy, kabalot ako ang yawa, maabot, ingon pa. Na isang example, ingon nila. Pastor, usahon pa na ito, mabawaan na lahang espiritu sila. Ingon sila. Sunod ko sa imong panimanay. Kung niya makita ni mo imong bana parte ng bubuga, espiritu sila wak to. At ito mga tumba ang imong mga kaldiro, mga puta, madili, maayon mo sa Espiritu. So we can recognize those, but recognize that one. And at the presence of God, meaning the presence of God, ang presensya sa ginoo na naadili ka na to. So when we see the servants of spirits, it's not only the devil spirit, but we can also recognize his presence. Maubitaw na na kung magdayin ka sa ginoo, pati nga lang ka na pagdayin ko sa hay, kung sa'yo ang gawas ang presensya sa ilawa, Presensya sa ginoong kami kayo. And then na ay kumuplajin about the enemy. Pagsulti-sulti po siya. But one of my teachers said, hindi siya kinahanglang i-arrest na. Ang yawa gusto niya ang last portion mo gawas na. So that he can get the glory. Maulang kung na ay revival, na ay mga, na ay mga liniwkan sa ginoo, ang last is the presence of the enemy is so strong. So that he wants to leave an impact that he is greater than everything. Ang kayo ba'y bahal nga kung yan tuhan? Mga young people, rabi ang presensya sa kino. The presence of God. Mubitaw na, when we have gatherings, the presence of God, kaya mga first time ka ng gawas, mga outreach community, rabi ang presensya sa kino. And then the enemy will do something. Mamakita na kung nag-outreach na, nag-alagaw na sa gawas, we should be intact as a team. Bisag ka na mag-atutag water baptism, mag-atutag water baptism, sometimes ang mga kuyong na itong magligo na sila. But my father will always tell us, when you are part of the team, don't go anywhere. Because the enemy will go into catch you. In other words, the enemy, the spirit of the enemy will always like to present himself na mas maayaw siya sa tanan. So, kinahala na atong masakta na, mag-discern na ito na, na mag-discern na ito na. For example, makita niyo ang tao, discern na ng spirit, makita niyo, mura magkaniniyan na ako, mura magdilihati. Pero kung ang tao ang nadili na nila ma-recognize because they don't have that gift. But when you have that gift, when you look at a person, you can easily recognize what kind of spirit is that he can unhappy, na tingali na itaho, na tingali ko an. Munang, diri mo ikaw sa simpahan, at ito pa lang sa tigawali mo, ikaw mo na, may gamay, gamay, gamay ko na dito. And then, ako di ato bang, pag istorya pa lang niya, ako na po gibay. In other words, you can discern things. You can discern. And through that, through discernments, then you can easily present the gospel to them. Alright? So discernment of spirits. And the discernment of spirits, the presence, and then we have also the presence of God, and then the presence and the function of the Holy Spirit is there, the presence and the functions of angel, the presence of God, the function of the Holy Spirit. Ano ba kayo ka nga? Grabe yung presensya sa ginoon. And then, ingon siya nila, and then, the presence of angels and the nature of a human spirit, the presence of Satan, the presence and function of evil spirit. In other words, kanang ispiritu sa yawa na imong makita, makitaan pag hindi mo lang na maglilo. In the spirit of the sun. Dili lang na makita ni mga yawa sila, they have the enemy's power over them. But you can really tell through their actions. Amen. Mga importante kayo ang discernment. Kaya pagtanaw pa lang ni mo sa tao, when you look at the person, you know what 
was the approach of this person? Pagkita ni mo, is God, alangan, pagkita ni mo, she's is very sick. Masakit to. So what he needs is prayer. And then this person, nakita ni mo, nga sad, he needs comfort. And this one is happy, na sobrang pagka-happy, ah, murag lay-lay po ni. Right? So that is important. Eh. So the spirit of discernment. And discernment, and we have the revelation, knowledge, and wisdom. What is the difference between word of wisdom and word of knowledge? A word of knowledge, you know something. Dahi, uh, anak saging gani. A knowledge sa saging, kapaluka na makakuna. Kung imong tinabay, something, kung naay mo agi, what you call the one, is, uh, is like, you know, yes. that is knowledge. The wisdom is, where you are going to pick that banana, para walay madiskas siya. Okay? So, knowledge, when we study the function of discernment, then now you discern that there is evil things in this person, the thing is, pangutan ko ni mo, kung sa'y nahita po si Esther, sa'y mga nga mo, pura mga kang katulugod. Isang pa, isang may hita po, sa'y nahita po ni mo, kung hindi ang nagdaman. Pero mas hindi ka nung iyarun ni sa kampo. Sa'y nahita po ni mo, that is knowledge. Right? And then wisdom. Kung sa'y wisdom, is to apply it. Tinali magstuya siya karun na na akong pamilya mangun ng langkaw sila. Kunya, gibiyangan ko. Nasad ko. And then, you will have, kung na na sila, you will have now the word of wisdom. Okay? So, the word of wisdom, the word of wisdom is coming from God. Higat niya sa kino ko. The knowledge is yours, then the wisdom, God is going to put His mind on your mind. So, kung sa'yo approach ni mo, pagkawan, anak, kung pa namin na nag-inom ka, sister, mura gayon man kung sa'yo approach ni mo. Ah, sa'yo approach ni mo, sunod, anak. Muna yung sa'yo niya na nagkamali, bagay ka na wala na kamalukong sister. Ito na kamalukong knowledge. Like, nakita na ganin ni mo ang tao na suko na kaayo, magsigi mga katawa. Nakita na ganin ni mo ang tao na he's very on fire na kanang naglagot na siya kayo, and then still you are loving. But the knowledge of God, but, the, but the, the wisdom of God will tell you, Sister, there's something wrong with you. And I'm going to So that is what the revelation of it comes, comes from. Discernment, knowledge, and wisdom. So in other words, in that revelation knowledge, na imong nakuha niya sa ino mo, you can now start how to do the Great Commission in that person. Kanaganan ka ay yung karoon, isang ka na, na word kami, ka ng wisdom and knowledge sa mga batang ko, na nawala na na karoon. One of the practical way right now is that nakakita na ganit kang tigulang Hindi baka mag-recognize na na yung stigulang sa ito. That is knowledge. And the wisdom from the Lord is to respect it. Right? So even the churches today, because of the lack of knowledge, people perish. So in the Revelation gift, and then we have now the vocal cords. Ako i-break na kung yan, ako lang ginahatag-ginara. Sa vocal cords, we have the vocal cords. What are the examples of the vocal cords? Hmm? Prophecy. Ah? Uh, uh, Songs and interpretation. And then we have tongues and interpretation and different kinds of tongues. Muna siya ang vocal gifts. One is different kinds of tongues, the interpretation of tongues, and then 
prophecy.
And then, kung hindi niyo masaktan sa pagtulog, masaktan niyo mo niyo. How it works. Right? So, ato lang ginakuha ka ron, ane. What are the approaches that we're going to do? But next time when I come back, we are going to do, we will be teaching the Holy Spirit and the, the prophecy will action and then the miracles is healing. Ikaw ako kayo ni Tanawon. Wato Tanawon. No? So, sa prophecy lang, it's just a word na napapulong, na dinahatan. So most of the people, they love that. Kung mag-declare ka sa tao, they love that. When you declare something to the person, magkato ka si Stair. Kaya ikaw ka na, no? That's prophecy. And then through knowledge and wisdom. And then you can connect. God is going to heal you. God is going to give you a right person. God is going to, ay nana, that is why you need gifts. Uyo ka niya sa big commission. Uyo ka niya siya. Tungon kay para imong ma-express kung sa hanga sa tao. And through this, makita na imo ang tao mag-open up na sila sa inyo. They will open up to these things. But next meeting, when I come back, we are going to, to do this. Ang atong imo ang bring one. You bring one with you, and that is our example. That is our vision. Okay, dagan kung nakita ani, labi na sa working of miracles. So, in the prophecy, that uh, vocal chords, vocal chords, and then we have the discerning, discerning, like the different kinds of tongues. And the different kinds of tongues, there are tongues that you cannot understand, and there is also a language. And ang makita na ito, ang nag-story sila, arabakaran siya, narabakan, narabakan, it's like, hindi hindi mo masakit. Pero na ay tang na you really understand. When I first came to Binget, it is called Ilocano. Mga Ilocano na tao. Na ay nagbisaya ang kababayin. There was one person who speak beside. And then akong gidulan. Unya lang ka later on, I'll go with you, I'll have chica with you. Nagbisaya ka ito. Pagbalik na ako, I said, there is one Bisaya here. I want to talk to her. Siya, pastura, wala yung Bisaya. Ingo na ako, I really hear you speaking Bisaya. Ako na tumunta. Then, I asked a lot of people regarding that. Even in the ministry, the Ani Angel, hindi sa una daw. Si Katong Vice Mayor, hindi si Katong Vice Mayor, hindi nga may kurate. Si... Na ataw mo yung German sa una na bisita. And then he start to speak German. Katong tao. And when he speak that word German, ang inyong bisita German siya. And then he speak in tongues in German. And then, atong German na speaker, nasapta niya talang ang isuti. Kung niya iya daw ipangita, kaya kung to si Paisley yung disorder na. And then iya daw ipangita, Ingon niya, there is one German here. So he described us, he know me, Anna. And then he said, all, yang ilintang. In other words, that word is for the congregation. Okay? So, so, he's speaking in tongues, in different tongues. It could be the unknown tongue and the known tongue. No? O nang tilig ka patingala. O nang patsaya na ninyo ka nun kung mag-ministeryo mo, nag-aampo mo, and then someone is speaking in another language that you cannot understand. And then there was someone is kanang gigigitala sa ginoon niya. One example, there was a Thailander. Nagpintang siya sa anak sa pastor. And then ang mama kay muling na nag-aampo sila. Usog kay presensya sa ginoon, kay maura may mahiko sa pastor. And then she start to speak the dialect. Katong tinaylan. Nagtingala ang kami ang nagalaki ng asawa ang siyang anak. Ingun siya na, katong pulong ka para man sa kuha. Para sa kuha. And then di pa ko tala na, if your mother can speak the dialect, yun siya na. Then iyan di ba't ba? Ang pulong para niyo. Inahangan niyo mga inahan ng dino. So you know what? Inahangan ang speaking tongues that they unlock ta and the natural ta. Kung magkaroon ito mo at pupuong mga kalaylay na sipahan, manginaw na ko. Kaya hindi na ka may i-interpret kay masagda na nato. Okay? So, the other, under nagsasabok to voice. 
And then the second is, the last is, interpretation of God. Ini, I don't know, Pastor Gart, if you encounter this already, that someone, when they speak the unknown language, in one person mga interpret, it's like they can see also the dialect. They can hear. Mga, sige kung pamunta na sa ginawa ni Lord, wala pa rin kung ka-encounter. Di ba, ibang sa kundi, di ba, interpret, ayaw na lang. Di ba, ibang sa Biblia. But there one person come to me, they prayed for me, di ang kuhan ko nila, when they were praying for me, and then, the anong talaga tulang ako po sa kasi kina sa speaking tongues, di kuhin ko, ibang sa kasama. In English. In English. And I said, what? Then I said, magpansyon ka na. Ay para kasabukin ka kayo. Most of the gifts ka na. Yung anong tano, ang dinig na ito. Nakit ka na kayo. But in my next lesson, mas gusto na ko ito kay lahat ng players na di ako matanaw sa inyo. Makit ka na ito pa. Kung saan magkawal. Then we will surely understand what is the that anong tang. Ingon pa sa subject, ang anong tang is a daggan siya o braba siya na raba siya na sometimes it's only interpreted in one word. Ah, one, two words. And then it makes the bridge. Kaya na kayo nung tumuka na nga ang may ginaampuhan. Pag mag-ampu gani mong tao, di pa nagilak no. Pero naanang kay word na dimension, nagilak siya. Kung niya, di kina ni Muangay pangutanon ang ginoon na nag-breakthrough ni Ana sa iya kung saan mong inon. Right? So in other words, God has given her already the knowledge of that word. Na iya mas masaktan pa. Nagatag lang ka nga, you by your stripes you are healed. Huwag magkakabalong na nagsakit na siya. And then all of a sudden, she is crying, nagilak siya. Nag-lupa sa iya kung sa iya ilang, nag-luksu-luksu siya. Because God, you have given me him or her a word that is coming from him. Right? You with me? So, next meeting, we will do that. Mas kahit itong naan tayo, go here to Ani. Para mas taan mo masakta. Okay, so interpretation of them. The interpretation of them, ato na siyang panon later on, next time. And then we have the gifts of healing. First is the gift of faith. Sa akong dugay na napagtanaw, sa pagtanaw sa mga Kristuhan, there is what we call salvation faith. Salvation faith, when the time you receive the Lord Jesus Christ, ikatuhuhin ang dito. Right? But there is a gift of faith. Kadagatan sa mga Kristuhan nung karon, walay pagtuo na sama kadagok sa puntod na iyang malihog tungod wala siya igasa sa pagtuo. Ang pagtuo gasa ko. You with me? No? Ang, ang, ang pagtuo gasa. Kung mga kadaganan sa mga Kristuano, mga pastor, mga ka, mga leader, mga ka, mga sa mga ka, sometimes they cannot believe because they don't have that gift. But when you have that gift of faith in you, then it is very possible to touch the throne of God. Mga nga, sa under sa working of miracles, kung wala kay pagtuo, isa ikaw nga nag-alihans, wala kayo may tabo. Kung saan ay naaman, kay ang inyong isuntihan, mas nakakapture siya. Ikaw wala. You with me? So give of faith. Next time we will speak about that. Gusto na ko nga ako pinag-explain na lang para mas makayo. So under the gift of faith is the working of miracles. The gift of healing. Meaning healing, katong gasa nga mag-aayo ka. Mag-aayo ka. Miracles, signs and wonders. That you can to man things in the atmosphere na hindi may tabo. Like for example, like nakukulan. And then we in the name of Jesus, Untang ulan. Sada na sada na tona. Ang tipo piling ka to mga masakit don. Nakaimasakit na kaiwan bangun ka. Pero 
take sample of that. Now can you count that one of us, And we okay to just share with us about the working of your work. I was uh, happy to experience about the working where I was. When I was newly born again, we fired with us in the world. And I think she said that now, really, my uncle is very, very, very bright. Love you, that is the demon sitting by so very bright doesn't want to believe. Uh, he has his own faith, so I try to share with him about salvation. And he doesn't believe, you know, the Lord is really going to perform miracles every today. Even today, he's really forgiving. I will ask the Lord to stop that when he stop. He said, You are silly, I said, Okay, listen. I said, rain, rain, stop in the name of Jesus. And suddenly the rain stopped. So then he was amazed. Wow. He was summoned to me. It was the Lord. The Lord is doing it. The Lord is doing it. God is doing it. Yes, what is the sample of the working of miracles? Nakakita ka o ka ng discussion. And then you say, in the name of Jesus. Nahum lang kayo. Something happens that is working of miracles. Right. Tapos na ako yung working of miracles na ka ng mga kamot, hili na hili, ka ng mga lip na nagtubo. That is working of miracles. Ka ng katong kamot gani na wala nakagawas. Na yung mga upano, na nai nakita ko na sa Facebook, na wala nakagawas ang kamot when they, they speak, they, they pray, and then all of the sudden it stretch. That is working of miracles. And you with me? Um, so far. One day, also, some of you understand the end, we just, we just received uh, salvation. The following day, the body of the Lord, he said, I'm going to pray because my ears is, and we're going to pray for the Lord, we're going to pray for the Lord, so we're going to pray for the Lord, we're going to pray for the Lord, we're going to pray for the Lord. So I said, I'm going to pray for you, we're going to pray for the Lord, and I pray for her, and that is working into her life through miracles. So I said, you know, Jesus be healed. Right now, we're going to look at it. In a few minutes, back to us, and he's like, huh? Okay, my God. It's just only a few minutes. And so I go around, she go around different houses, and I said, I'm healed, I'm healed, I'm healed, because of, you know. She said, no, it's not me, it's God. It's working in you. So, ang kalahian sa healing and working of miracles. This is a major testimony actually. Uh, what we first started doing was it was corporate prayer that we did this. Corporate prayer. And we just started doing much and then when we were having a culmination for that, um, there was, we knew there was a storm brewing in the South Pacific. You know, and it looked like a big one. You know, so all of us corporately in Dormont, we had 300 to 400 in the weekdays and then 500 to 600 in the weekends and on, on Saturdays, praying corporately together every four o'clock in the morning to six in the morning. And that was when it came to the, the whole dome watch. Now, when we heard this storm was coming, now we rebuked it, we, we prayed it would stop. And then, um, well, we left it up because we felt we'd completed the bread in our spirits. There was a team also with Bacolod praying the same thing. And of course, that storm that came was Yolanda. Yolanda, the biggest ever storm to hit landfall. But just before it reached the Dumaguete, well, Dumaguete, Negros, you know the map where you've got the red in the centre, and it goes orange, yellow, green, you know, with levels of intensity. Well, that red spot in the centre, it separated, part went north, part went south, and they avoided Negros like that. And it was green here in the centre. And then after the after Negros, they formed again over Panay. So we were not hit by Yolanda. On the Friday, it started raining and the wind started, but it abruptly stopped three o'clock in the afternoon. And um, the Lord really answered our prayer. Scientists were confused, they don't know how it happened. The cloud formation, you know, the spiraling um, Olympus shape of the clouds. Well, it was like a pizza pie cut. Pizza pie piece cut in the center, 
and where that black area, where that open space was, was Negros. You know, there was a day pretty much like today, maybe a little cloudy that was all, when it was supposed to be raging through. So we actually saw a major storm, storm not hit this island through prayer and faith.
receive a divine healing. Amen. In other words, healing that he knows the Lord sa iyang kinabuhi. Na ilan niya ang ginoo. Pila ka tuwing ginoo niya ako? Pinaagoy ang itong sakita na luwas niyang bana. Naluwas ang iyang bana and then ang iyang bana abdik na kayo magkuyong-kuyong na mong isang asa may magbibay-bay magkuyong iyang bana. Ang peace na iyang nagawatan, grabe sa iyang kinabuhi. So, nag-born again ang iyang bana. Kala sa sister Yelby, kala po nakita din yung sasauna. Kung napansin ninyo sa sauna, gusong uh, ang iyang depression sa iyang kinabuhi. When I minister to her, ginag-istorya lang po, ististorya lang po, ginag-istorya. Hiling man yung sulod sa ilang ulo akong ginag-istorya. So ako, pag yung hindi Bible, hindi man masanta, then God gave me wisdom. Ako matinangbuhon, kung niya mag-inoo ko. Ako matinangbuhon, mag-inoo ko. Nalalay mo po si Sterot sa may gihimo nila dito sa mga pinusip ni ko nga. Sige, magkag-auto ba sa Bible sa mga pungkot pasto o kabalo? But that is how she came to the knowledge of God. Because I discern something in her that is not right. And then, nag-ila-ila me, then the demonic just come out sa iyong tinamuhi. Kaya likod siya, thank you, kini, uyong kunik tistiro niyo. No? The conviction of the Lord sa iyong tinamuhi. Ang iyong bata pa siya, nag-separate ang iyong iyang hilip magkulang kung yan siya'y nagbantay sa anak ng tulong kapo. In other words, naging sila sa iyang brother in law. And then, listal kaayos siya na makagawas anak sa lahat. Then the Lord just made a way for her. Ang ginoon na kimong pamangin. Dagan mga klasik. Now, I have a Bible study. I'm a Bible study. Ang among tawag second hand, kaduwa tanan ng asawa, unya, huwag niya ako this way. <laughs> Mga depressed niya ako. Pero ang pinakamaayos sa tanan when Jesus came, tuwa, tulo sila. Ngayon itong isa, pastura, ako nang ibiyaan ang among wakong kuya. When he put up, yun ay wakong kuya. Ang ikaduwa, yun niya, i-confit ko sa ginoo. Ingon siya, Unsa ko na ako na ako magbiyahan ni ako partner. Ang ikay sa akin, huwag ko pag yun. Na siya'y second ka ron, pero naing lang siya balik sa iyang first spot. Sa iyong original last spot. And then, and that is a what's happening. Gamay lang ang pag-insulti, gamay lang ang pag-upan. When you action in the gifts, then God will just allow you to do so. Ang importante kayo. Next meeting. Next time. How come? Of the gifts of God, in our lives, 
sa i-share ni mo, sister. Wala na kayo ma-share. Sige daw. Sige daw. Sige. Amin daw kami. O siya, siya na lang ang ng application. Di ba na born again ka, Ana? Oo, sige. Ay, hindi sa akalang, yes, hindi mag-born kayo, di ba? Well, God, pray kita. Tanya, grabe kayo pa. Grabe na ang kanaginig mo sa Holy Spirit na ampun. Kanaginig, pray ka na ang ga-worship, ka na ang ga-pray. Kayo, hindi po parang siya na kayo sa akin, sa ako ang
Peace and the stretchers. I always challenge myself to that. Many times, tila ni nakita. In the school, na yung magdala, huwag ka nung agad po, mga tiil. Mga agad po, tiil. And then when we pray for them, automatically, yan mo po lang, na boosted cancer. Then the Lord healed him. Nahapami, nahapay nag-ingon sa ako ang didala nila, didala ni Sister Emilita, Propita daw ni, ingon na po, ang tanda mo, ang tupit, ang tupit, ang tanda mo, ang nalibog sa kasalarihan, paano ito ko na lang. Yung mga kita sa Pilipin of Darkness, I said that, there's something wrong with this. And then when we pray, we do all ko ni, iyang mga ni Jesus, ha, something, change. Tanya yan, nagbalibak, rain all over. And I said, in Jesus' name, I know that's very important. Basta ang papaya, pagkakas sa papaya, ni uyo ang papaya sa kawas. And then one time, we do revival meeting, ay nag-demon process. Babae lang. Wala ko'y tingog. Ako lang ginisakan sila. Do this in Jesus' name. Shalit sila. Practical. Sa among ginastunan. And they were healed in the name of Jesus. Many things. Kung ano sa'yo, we'll do that. We'll do that. We can see the power of God. Napay ka isa nga sa among klase na nag-lingkot siya, nag-atito, ingon sa akong maestra, may sudyante. Basta, 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 gituok na ko, gituok na ko. Wala ko. Epileptic. Spirits also na. Ano mga epileptic? Epileptic? Oh, spirit ko. And then, yung siya, gituok na ko, gituok na ko. And then, he says, in Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Ah, kita po nyo mga palapad, magsupasok ka. Nagyanong ka. So many things happen. Many things. That is why we can easily, muna kung ay masakit ko, matulong ka magampo, ayaw pagdili. Ayaw pagdili. Because it's an open door for them to know the Lord. Right? Dahil na buhay, dahil mga depressions, go. Because it's an open door for us to penetrate. Nakang susayin ang atyak, mga inaana, ang mga walay kalipay, walay mga pagko. Ayaw, ayaw pa, mas maayaw na. Kaysa ka na mag-inong pa tao sa inyo, mag-servisyo tao niya, walay kos. No? Sa'yo magkuhan lang, kaya naipatay, hindi tapos sa'yo kapig, anak, pero ato ka sa mga masakito, mga kapig, hindi ka na. Sana'y mga problema. Amen? Amen? We will have a break. And then, this time, I want a volunteer. Lima ka po. And then I will let you know kung unsa yun ang kusog na gasa nga na hindi mo. Ang ato lang iuon ka ron, this is right or wrong, no? Tanaan na ito, how do you approach a person? How do you approach a person? How you minister to that person? And then ato, pwede lang mag-volunteer. Mamilig ka diri kung sa'yo ipadala sa ginawa niya. Mag-istorya mo ko niya pag istorya ninyo, ayaw po din mo i-share. For example, si si Pastor Elby ang iba sa ginoon sa inyo, ah, nakagisunin, ayaw ninyo i-share. And then, let them come up later at kung pang tanong kung sa isunin sa ginoon sa inyo, ah, then kung saan, nagtugmak pa naman yun na. No? We'll see. We'll see. Kala din ninyo kaila. Kala din ninyo kaila din rin. Na may mga punta na sila mong ka-istorya, pero wala din ka kaila. Amen? We'll just allow the Lord to do that. Sampun, wala. We will do this in a practical way. Nakalangkuan. Para usahin na ito ang approach. Kaya usahin mga inunta ka na dito sa layo. Nasa kwa noon. The gifts is very important. And next, when they come up, we will do this. We will, ako may mas tarong. Mag tarong. And then we will ask people to come here. Sig people. Hindi ko maglok isang ng people. Hindi ko maglok isang kwa. Because God says so. Hindi mo pa sa subject ay yun. Kung isun ka sa ginoo, iyang pakahimungan ka na diktaliyan ka ka na. So, we will have a break first. Pila ka minutes? 